Hello and welcome back to Only Analog. So yes, as you can see, me and Josh are back together. Previous, uh, previously, previously, <laughs> previously on Only Analog. <laughs> Today we've got a really good one. Uh, we've got some Barnack Likers that we've had in our possession for a while now. So we both have the Leica 2F. Tom's got the red dial, and this is just the plain old, plain old Jane. So yeah. the difference is between mine and Josh's camera is mine's got thousands of a shutter speed, and his is only 500. So yeah, we actually bought these on the, it was the one year anniversary of the channel, wasn't it? Yep. So we rolled into the camera shop and there was two of these and we just thought, you know, it's meant to be and yeah, we, uh, we had to pick them up. So that's the reason behind buying these. We brought the Likers down to Folkestone with us today and we had a stupid idea to go out in a sandstorm. We Not thought it was a good idea. We thought it'd be a good idea, like the cool yeah. haziness of a sandstorm, but no, it just turns out it's, it looks overcast and bland and flat. So. Yeah, so this, this is like going out on an overcast day, basically. It yeah. wasn't ideal conditions, so me and Josh decided to take quite a few portraits of ourselves and a few little extra surprises in there. So we started the video in Folkestone in the sandstorm, and then the next day, as it was so nice, we decided to run down to Bex Hill and take a few more shots and finish off the rolls. So today I am loading up some Portrait 400. I loaded up some Fuji Superior Extra 400. With great difficulty, I <laughs> so... yes, with great difficulty. Oh, it's carnage, isn't it? Oh yeah. So with that being said, enjoy today's video.
welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. So yeah, I did, I did, obviously we did run a few test rolls through these first before doing this video, but as it happens on the day we went out to shoot, I popped a roll of film in and upon getting the results, I realized my curtain was capping. So there's a few shots in there where you can see the sort of darker end of one side of the, the shot is sure, yeah. where the, the curtain was capping. It wasn't on all of them. Um, it happened quite a lot though, so I, I probably will have to crop a few in. It did ruin a couple of really nice shots I was looking forward to seeing as well. Nice. But these things happen. Uh, it's been sent off for a service now and it's all back in, in working order. We absolutely love these things. They're great fun. Um, yeah. I know I said in the last video, I'm not a massive rangefinder guy, but this has swayed me just a little bit, I must admit. I, the thing I like about them these Leicas is that Jupiter 8 lens because it is based on a Simichrome lens and it's and it is actually rather sharp for all it yeah, is. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, I think at f8 it's sharper, just as sharp as a Simichrome lens. I definitely think the Jupiter 8 gives it a run for its money. So me and yeah. Josh decided to get them lenses on that basis. But these Jupiter 8 lenses for black and white photography are absolutely the the, the, the dog daily. The monkey's nutties. Yeah, yes, mate. They are good. And I think that's what me and Josh were really using quite a lot with these Leicas is shooting black and white. Yeah. And hopefully doing a bit of street photography in the future. So, yeah, we probably will get around to reviewing these properly. Um, we thought, you know, it'll be just a little fun outing. Of, uh, this was meant to be the one year anniversary video, but we just got massively <laughs> sidetracked. So, so um, yeah, happy one year anniversary, yeah, happy one year anniversary. Josh. Thank you to all the subbies that have followed us from the start. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Yeah, again, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, please drop a like and also subscribe and join the Only Analog fan. We'd be very much appreciated. And if you've shot an old Leica or you own an old Leica, M3, Barnack, whatever it is, um, and you want to tell us about your experience with it, drop a comment below and um, we, we'll get back to you. So thank you for watching today's video and we will catch you in the next one. Peace. Thanks.